it is usually given 2.4 gram IV 6 hourly and uh, cefotaxim can be given 2 gram IV 6 hourly ceftriaxone 2 gram IV uh, 12 hourly that we can give okay and vancomycin is 1 gram IV 12 hourly okay ceftriaxone is 2 gram IV 12 hourly cefotaxim that we give 2 gram IV 6 hourly and uh, vancomycin is 1 gram IV 12 hourly you should always remember these three uh, the drug entry, it, it, the blood-brain barrier blocks macromolecules, the peak concentration of increases with inflammation and should always be given by and, uh, IV. Yes, uh, it is according to the weight, uh, yes, but, uh, but two grams that uh, the books have mentioned, we need to go for that, only you should always keep in mind. And it is usually according to the weight, definitely. So, uh, we manage manage uh, by ABC airways, breathing cir circulation. Any sign if there is any signs of hypovolemic or septic shock, we treat accordingly, and uh, we treat with the first dose of empiric antibiotic, as I told, and we do a proper complete CNS exam examinations daily, and check for head circumference daily if it is less than eighteen months. So need to check for any signs of hydrocephalus in such case. Always in such case. So major pathogens you told, uh, streptococcus pneumonia and meningitis, third generation cephalosporin that we give cephotaxin and ceftriaxone and vancomycin, and a use of uh, dexamethasone. So uh, how do we use steroids in such cases? What is the role of uh, what is why do we use steroids? What is the definitive role for steroids? Can anyone tell? Why do we use steroids for such patients? Give me some good reasons that what is the purpose of steroids for such patients? What is the role of uh, steroids? Anyone? Yes, yes. This is a good answer. Diffuses inflammation. Any other? Primarily, yes. It decreases the inflammation. It reduces the inflammatory response. Okay, good. Any other? Now, how do what, what will happen if there is reduced inflammation? What will happen then? See, uh, it is affecting the meninges. Okay. So we reduce the inflammation. What will happen? What is the role? If the inflammation is reduced, then the intracranial pressure will also reduce. Okay? Yes. Good. The intracranial pressure will, uh, will be less than. Okay? And usually, uh, what other? Okay, I'll tell you a few. Like, there is a proven reduction in morbidity for such patients. Severe hearing loss is also uh, prevented. Okay. And uh, tubercular meningi meningitis, we have seen there is a lot of morbidity in such patients due to uh, name any disease for which the meningitis is caused as a secondary infection. Anyone? Any disease uh, in, in the patient in which the meningitis is caused as a secondary infection? Any disease? Can anyone tell me? Always remember a name hepatitis. Otitis media, fine. Hepatitis also. You get me? In patients who are treated for hepatitis, tubercular meningitis can be a uh, latent infection that, that is caused. So dexamethasone also proven good for, uh, like corticosteroid therapy is also proven good for such things. Okay. So one other thing uh, I tell you, always remember. So steroids, they interrupt with the cytokine-mediated uh, neurotoxic effect of bacteriolysis. Okay. 
you understand so what do they do they do is they uh, interrupt the cytokine mediated neurotoxic effect of bacterial lysis which are maximum during the first few days of antibiotic therapy first it is at the peak level so that is why we ask that there should be a proper use of corticosteroid therapy and uh, they should be given so uh, how when, uh, so now uh, now you know uh, when the, uh, when corticosteroid should be given now you tell me should be should they be given uh, yes 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 cytokine shock syndrome that is what i am telling you it so bacterial lysis is prevented by corticosteroid so now you tell me uh, should they be given uh, beforehand uh, antibiotic therapy or later or at the same time same time yes before can we give it before also can we can they be given to the patient before also or it should be given at the same time only so okay so uh, i'll tell you they should be given at the same time or before also so what will happen if we give a patient antibiotic uh, dexamethasone or any corticosteroid Uh, to the patients who have already taken the antibiotic therapy will it, will it work for them yes or no will corticosteroid therapy will uh, uh, work for patients who have already received antibiotics does it improve patient outcome the uh, to patients who have already received antibiotics does it improve patient outcome yes or no so uh, so the patients always remember this thing that patients who have already received antibiotic dexamethasone therapy should not be given because it has not it has not shown the improvement in the patient outcome okay so specific therapy and duration streptococcus pneumoniae is 10 to 14 days bacteria meningitis it is 5 to 7 days penicillin or third generation cephalosporin and hemophilus influenzae streptococcus cephalotoxin 7 7 to 10 days so isolation is the standard precaution plus prevention of the droplet in infections any for bacteria meningitis hemophilus influenzae until they have received 24 of half hour hours of effective therapy vaccines and uh, chemo uh, like chemo prophylaxis would be properly done what is uh, for the chemo prophylaxis for uh, meningococcal and hemophilus influenzae not strep uh, strep pneumonia okay it is for meningococcal as you know hemophilus influenzae only and uh, we should check for any household contact child care or pre free school in the past 7 days direct exposure to secretion in the past 7 days frequent uh, how, how the, there is uh, the sleep pattern like how if they if are uh, how many humans are sleeping like that uh, frequently slept in the same room in the past 7 days passenger sat next to the index case of airplane flight latest uh, like more than 8 hours antibiotics for children is rapamycin and uh, ceftriaxone that is safe in pregnancy remember these two for hemophilus influenzae uh, uh, the household contacts with one child younger 4 years who is incompletely immunized or with one immune com uh, compromised child for such